What's going on folks? I'm going to show you how you would fix a hydraulic jack just in case for some reason pretty much it won't lift anymore as well as say for example when you are pumping it you begin to see like fluid and stuff coming down from out of this cylinder right here which tells you that most likely that you have a bad o-ring. Your o-ring basically looks like this it's just a little rubber ring that goes inside of here. So to fix this on this type of jack, which is like a door lash, a dual lash, what you want to do is first of all you got to take off this piece right here. You got to take that piece off. So what you're going to want to do is come to the side right here. You'll see these little pins. A lot of times you got to bend them together. And once you bend them together, they just pull right out like that. So I pull it out because first they like bent open. You just take pretty much and bend it together. Then you pull it out. You pull that one out. You know, have another one right here, same thing, squeeze it together, and then pull that out. And once you do that, you'll have that out. And once you do that, now you want to go ahead and push these out. These little things like this, they just pull out like that. You want to pull it out like that. Go to the other one to have one right here. You want to do the same thing and pull this one out. Sometimes you may have it to where they have these pins over on this side. And say, for example, you can't get it out because it's hitting up against this. Then what you can do is, is just take a pair of vice grips. You come right here. You come down right here. Take a pair of vice grips and take off this bolt. And once you do that, it'll kind of allow you to take like something and bend open the frame some. You'll be able to get that this piece right here out just in case you have your clips on this side and it needs to come out this way or basically just in case you have it in this way it has to come out like this and it's touching the frame like I said just come down take this off and then take something kind of pry it open a little wider and you'll be able to get it out but once you have that done next what you're going to be doing pretty much is taking this straight off like that this piece will come off then what you'll see is this right here, this piece. And a lot of times you'll have to take something like maybe a screwdriver or maybe a pair of vice grips or something to kind of get this to come all the way out. I'll show you when I get it out. Sometimes it's kind of tight inside of there. So you kind of want to, hold on, just pull, kind of rock in it. Kind of rocking it. Hold on, I'm going to grab a pair of vice grips. You don't want to make it too tight on it. Just kind of get like a decent little grip on it. Like that. And once you do that, you could kind of take a hammer. Sometimes you could take like a hammer and kind of hit it up. Like that. And you see how it came out. And this right here would be an O-ring. And sometimes on them, they could be damaged. So therefore your fluid and stuff is leaking out of it. So a lot so most time to get your o-ring off of it, just take like a little screwdriver, a tiny screwdriver or something. You just want to take it, I like kind of dig up underneath the edge of it. See this one's all damaged. Just kind of want to take it, something like a flathead, like an eyeglasses, a screwdriver, kind of dig up underneath it. And once you do that, you should be able to pull off the old one. So this is the one I just took off right here, which basically looks damaged. So I'll be putting a new O-ring going. You get your new one pretty much. You just put it right on that little groove you can see right there. Stick it right on top of that. Then once you do that, you go ahead on, stick this back down inside of here, back into the opening. It should be a little bit difficult to go down in there, but stick it back inside the opening. I'll show you what I'm doing. I'm not going to put the O-ring on yet. But basically, say so you got your new O-ring going. You done stick a new one on. You can buy a pack of them also. Like I got a pack right here. And I got for like 5 or 6 dollars pretty much. It comes with like multiple different sizes of O-rings inside, inside of it. So you should be able to find one that match up. But once you put your O-ring back on it, basically you would just take it. I'm just going to grab one. You would just take it like that. Put it back around like that. And then you'll just stick this right back down inside of here like this. And then go ahead and put your, your um, push it all the way down in there. Go ahead and put your piece back on. Put your clips back in on it. 
and then pretty much it should be good just in case it, if your case was that you was leaking out um, um, fluid right here because your o-ring was bad now after you do that you probably still going to need to actually fill your hydraulic jack back up with um, hydraulic jack oil which is what this is right here you want to go ahead and fill it back up with that and to do that what you'll have to do is come up here I've already taken this rubber piece out you could come right here you'll be able to see this little rubber piece some of them may have just like a screw you unscrew see that hole this one just has like a little rubber piece you kind of dig it out take a flathead try to be careful not to tear it or nothing because some of these can rip if you're um, pulling it too hard but like I said just take like a a, a, a flathead screwdriver some kind of pull it out or maybe some um, needle nose pliers or something and get this out some of them have like a screw just screw it out but once you do that then you'll be able to actually add your your oil pretty much your hydraulic jack oil right into this hole you want to fill it up basically to the top and even if it comes out the top it'll be okay because when you put your plug back it'll just push out the excess also before you take this out you want to make sure that you clean around the opening that way once you take it out you don't have d dirt and debris that falls down inside the hole right here and pretty much once you've done that you fill it back up you take your plug you stick it back in and once you got all this stuff back together again now what you could do is go ahead and bleed it and the way you want to bleed it is you want to i'll show you in a minute how i bleed it once i get this back there. i'll show you how to bleed it all right folks i pretty much put the little plug back in which goes right here i got everything back together now now i'm about to test it to see if it's working right then i'm going to bleed it so i'm going to just pump it first i'm going to close the valve pretty much and then pump it okay and i can see that the arm is coming up on it which is telling me now that it's working pretty good so next i'm going to do is bleed it like i said you want to make sure that when you're putting new um, hydraulic oil inside of that you have the valve all the way open that way it'll basically fill all the way up like i said i had it all the way open i filled it up with fluid so now what i'm going to do is raise it all the way up I mean it's working now so at first it wouldn't go up at all and I'll raise it up it wouldn't do nothing so now you see it came all the way up so now I'm going to do is I'm going to open the valve back up and then let that go all the way back down and then I'm going to open it all the way up don't take the screw out but open it up forward and then what I'm going to do is pump it 20 times one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty i'm gonna keep it all the way down then i'm gonna close the valve close the valve back off then pump go ahead and close the valve and raise the jack back up again and you might want to do that maybe two times. You may want to do like two times or 20 just to be sure you get all the air out of it. But pretty much, folks, this is how you would repair a hydraulic jack that won't lift anymore, as well as how you would add new jack hydraulic oil to your hydraulic jack, just in case for some reason over time you've lost some of it. And pretty much it will go right here in this little thing. Like I said, sometimes you'll have... Uh, a screwdriver like a Phillips head screw you would take out right here and you'll be able to put the oil in it or you may have a plug like this one you got to pull out but either way as it go you want to open up the valve all the way when you're putting your fluid inside of it that way pretty much that the fluid gets all the way inside of it and once you have that done you want to close it up and then you want to go ahead and bleed it like, like I just showed you how by pretty much open it up your valve all the way and then pump it about 20 times and then close it. You may want to do that twice just in case you want to get all the air out of it, but that should take care of your problem if you're having a problem with your hydraulic jack to where it won't work anymore. All right, folks, please check out our other helpful videos. Please like, subscribe, and share. Thanks.